Think of a community health center as a one-stop shop for health services. Anyone with or without health insurance is welcome to use the facilities for their health needs, but its primary focus is to extend access to health care to low-income families who usually go to the emergency room to get treatment. More than half the patients who come to the Oklahoma Community Health Services Center in southwest Oklahoma City are uninsured. This federally qualified health center, or FQHC, tries to meet the medical needs of their patients. It's a comprehensive uh, project. In other words, you can receive medical, dental, behavioral health, uh, sometimes optometry, uh, other enabling services that help people who don't have insurance get better. Oklahoma has 34 federally qualified health centers, and with stimulus funds, many of them will expand their services to take in the increasing number of Oklahomans who lost their insurance coverage when they lost their jobs, and new centers will be opened. We got six new sites funded, and that is phenomenal. We've never gotten six funded at one time. And secondly, the ones who are existing have an opportunity to update, upgrade their, their buildings. The FQHCs in Oklahoma have received nearly $19 million in federal stimulus money so far, and more could be coming. One of the outcomes the Obama administration has sent at once from possible reforms is better health outcomes for low-income families. The patient may come in needing dental services, but the you know first thing we do is check their blood pressure, and maybe they came in with a toothache, but they've really got a problem with blood pressure. So a lot of times we get pay patients to the right place, so they come in with whatever they need first, and usually we can get the rest of it taken care of. This type of health center is nothing new. President Lyndon Johnson endorsed the concept as part of his Great Society legislation, but Oklahoma didn't start opening its FQHCs until the 1970s, with many of them opening up under the program's expansion by both President George H.W. Bush and President George W. Bush. The federally qualified health center could be considered a model to help in reforming medical care for people who don't have insurance, but expansion of the program could also improve the overall health of the people of Oklahoma. Oklahoma has an opportunity to really have some impact on its residents, positive impact, improving quality of life because they have access to care when they need it, not when it's a critical issue, so that they don't end up in a hospital emergency room for non-urgent care. Something the experts say would reduce costs to the patients as well as the health care system. From Oklahoma City, Jason Doyle, The Oklahoma News Report.